how how is your relationship with the tribes in 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 Oklahoma? Are you thinking like I mean obviously right now that's not going to be possible, but in the future you think kind of going to to the tribes, kind of doing book talks, kind of highlighting this this history to them, or are you um, try to uh, I guess what's the word choice here? Trying to um, engage them in other ways. Uh, honestly, after this book is published officially, I'm kind of worried I'm going to be public enemy number one and my like face is going to be up on an office somewhere and I can't be led into any of the tribal buildings. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> but I have made contact like through my graduate career, really, with various Chickasaws and Choctaws who understand that the narrative needs to change. Um, that not allowing people like myself to be tribal citizens as these treaties promise is wrong um, and want to kind of engage and open a dialogue uh, but there are still lots and lots of people who are not and tribal governments believe they have a lot to lose money-wise resource-wise if they kind of acknowledge this history so it's it's a constantly evolving issue which is sort of ironic living in georgia there's so many white individuals here who are like, oh, I have Cherokee ancestry and are so proud of it. And then you have like somebody who actually has family in in the native lands who can't get si tribal kind of relations and citizenship. And say, it's, it seems so it, just strange <laughs> that you have individuals who whose ancestors helped remove the Cherokee are like proud that oh I have Cherokee blood in me and then people that are Cherokees that can't get that recognition. Yes, native identity is uh, a fun or a complex thing to study because it is something people want to claim mm -hmm. um, and so it leads to native nations becoming very kind of territorial yeah. uh, and I understand that but um, often the way they gauge identity has elements of anti-blackness and elements of prejudice against certain people. Yeah. And that's probably the big point to take away from today is that racism comes in many different forms, as you said, and um, anyone is potentially susceptible and to be racist. And that we need to understand how non-white people think about race and deploy <laughs> racism toward their own goals. I mean, it's not just every kind of non-white groups relation to whiteness like there are other stories to tell about yeah. racism and race and settler colonialism yeah 